Okay, so we've worked out all these uh, sines and cosines. Um, I'm just going to give you a few relationships. I'm not going to give them all because, there's, well, they're all much of a muchness, but I don't want to develop the full the full theory. Um, let's have a look at this. If I want to work out sine of a negative angle, and here, if theta is positive, then minus theta, of course, is coming down here. That's opposite, that's hypotenuse, that's adjacent. Well, that's equal to minus sine theta, because all I've got to do is to reflect this triangle in a sort of mirror that looks like that, and it ends up looking like that, where theta goes over. Uh, that's adjacent, that's hypotenuse, that's my right angle. Um, we can see that sine of minus theta equals minus sine of theta, because everything's the same between these two triangles, except opposite here goes below the axis, and to take it back into standard format, we've got opposite going above the, uh, above the axis there. So sine of minus theta equals minus sine theta. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of relationships like that. Uh, so also things like, uh, if I say sine, if I've got that angle there, so there's my theta going around there. So theta is something, uh, quite a large angle like that, 189 or something going right around. This bit in here is theta minus 180 degrees. Okay, so if I construct a little triangle on that, start that again. I'll just try that again. If I construct a little, if I just construct, if I just construct a little triangle on that angle, there's my right angle. This angle here, this angle here is theta minus 180. There's my adjacent. There's my opposite. There's my hypotenuse. We know that I can flip that round, and it's this, exactly the same triangle, but turn it into standard format. Just a minute. Turn it into standard format. There it is. It's supposed to be just turned around, but I've made it bigger. Uh, that one there is theta minus 180. That's opposite. That's adjacent. Oops. No, it isn't. That's hypotenuse. That's adjacent. We can quite easily see that the sine of theta minus 180 degrees equals, going back to this picture here, uh, that just equals uh, the sine of theta. So sine of theta minus 180 degrees equals uh, sine of theta, which is quite nice. I've prepared a little diagram that shows all of this, and rather than mucking around with sine minus 180 and minus sine theta, it's a lot easier to look at a picture. So I've got one here, which I prepared a few minutes ago. Whoops. And this shows the sine function uh, as a function of angle. So there's theta equals 0, there's theta equals 180 degrees, 360, 540, and 720. And 720. So this is why it's called a sine, because it's like a snake. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. And there's a few landmarks on this picture. The first one is, the first one is that the sine of 0 is 0, and the sine of 180 degrees is 0. So the sine curve here repeats itself, it's going round and round and round. And here we see at 270, we've got oh, between 180 and 360 degrees, we've got the second, no, the third and fourth quadrant in which the sine is negative. So when I think of the sine function, I think of this diagram right here. And this is the way you should think about it. Um, a couple of other observations. The sine is always between minus 1 and plus 1. Uh, it's 0 at 0, 180 degrees, 360 degrees, and 540 degrees. It's probably worth a little bit of time talking about why the sine of 0 is 0, because I'll come back to that in the more sophisticated, uh, the more sophisticated um, uh, classes. If we've got the sine of some very, very, very teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny angle there, I'm trying to draw the skinniest triangle I possibly can. I'm not doing very well. That's supposed to be a right angle there, but I'm supposed to be doing this kind of... I'm supposed to be doing the skinniest, teeniest. I'm not doing very well here, am I? My, my pen's not working very well. Anyway, this is a very skinny triangle, very small theta. So there it is. 
theta. Uh, the opposite, that's adjacent, that's hypotenuse. Sine of this theta, opposite over hypotenuse. See, I'm not scared to write the formula out again and again and again and again, just to get a better understanding. Small over big, because the opposite is small and the hypotenuse is big, so that's a small number. So the sine of a small angle is very small, and of course, in the limit, although it doesn't quite make sense for a triangle, we've got sort of infinitely thin triangle. Um, that's supposed to be a triangle with like a theta equals zero here, but of course it hasn't climbed up at all here, your opposite is zero. Your opposite angle here is not just small, it's zero. So sine of zero equals zero, which we saw on the picture here. There it is. That's quite nice. Okay, stop there.